back or welcome to my channel my name is Ren and I make videos a couple of times a week about books and pop culture and today I am going to be talking about the most exciting arc I have read of 2024 and um, it needed its own video I needed to scream about it Casey McQuiston as you've seen by the title their new book The Pairing comes out in August and it was my most anticipated book of this year I am so excited I was so so excited when my ARC request was approved. I got it on NetGalley and genuinely like I was buzzing when I got the approval request to come through. A little bit of housekeeping. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you will not have seen that I am in my new house and the bookshelves are done. These are my bookshelves. This is my new setup. Um, the angle will probably change slightly because I am waiting for my computer to arrive. Um, so I currently don't have my Mac like set up. Um, so you are balanced on um, some notebooks, the Odyssey, the Iliad, and an Ikea pen pot. Um, and you're also, I'm not using my um, snowball mic because it plugs into my computer. I'm using my camera mic so the audio might be not as crisp as it usually is. And also my voice. Um, I, at the weekend, went to the Eras tour. Um, my voice is absolutely wrecked because of the Eras tour. Um, and I thought it was going to get better if I just rested it. But it's been like three days um, and it's not any better, even though I've been resting it. So here we are. We, we move forward. Hopefully it will continue to to get better. But yeah, I scream my little heart out at the Eras tour. So let's get into the pairing. Whilst obviously I was gifted an arc of this um, in exchange for a review, this review is an honest review. This video will also be non-spoilery. The book's not out yet. I'm not going to spoil anyone. That's not fair. And um, this is just a non-spoilery review of my thoughts. Um, just over on then when the book is out, I'll do a more in-depth video of the book. The pairing focuses on Kit and Theo and they are exes. It's a few years after they've broken up and they have booked to go on the same like European food and wine tour. Decide okay we're gonna be civil, we're gonna be friends and they have this bet of who can hook up with the most people while they're on this tour. The European trip vibes were immaculate as someone who lives in Europe. Oh my god it was just so fun to see like these different places and different cultures and the food. Oh, I, I, I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. So much was included and there were so many different things included and there was these experiences. It genuinely felt like I was experiencing them alongside Kit and Theo, but then it also made me want to go and book my own trip around Europe. Like it was simultaneously, I was getting FOMO, but also felt like I was there. The dream trip is just to go around Europe and drink wine and eat food. I mean, it was very sexy very horny if you like your smutty books the pairing will be for you the definition of this book is literally just like slutty bisexuals it's in it's in it, it's incredible i thought this was so fun it is i would say different to what casey has written before i followed casey's entire writing process because they were posting a lot on instagram while they were writing the pairing which i absolutely like loved i love seeing writing processes i love seeing writing updates i love seeing mood boards i love seeing just inspiration for things so it was actually really fun to have seen everything that casey posted and then to have read the arc of it and to see to see how all of these things that had been posted had kind of manifested into this novel it was really really cool and it gave me a really good understanding of how casey saw the novel as well um which i thought was really good and such a cool way to kind of go into reading something so i'd love for casey to do that for future books and i'd love for more authors to do that as well like it's super fun because i'm definitely someone that when i write i have to have kind of that inspiration so playlists mood boards everything like i'm a huge lover of such things but yeah i think this was kind of a little bit different to uh, things that casey has written before so obviously one last stop jane and august are brand new to meeting each other and then alex and henry it's enemies to lovers you know they weren't friends they they weren't exes like it it's they despised each other and there's enemies to lovers and then like Ishara Rila was I guess kind of like friends to lovers but not in the traditional sense but this was completely different like from the get-go we experience the fact that they've broken up and then we get to see them post breakup so from 
the get-go, we don't see this kind of building of getting to know a person. We see this building of, you are someone that I used to know better than I knew anyone, and now I don't know you, and now I need to get to know you again. It, and it was so well done. I think, I think the way that Casey did that was really good. We got to see kind of their attitudes and now, how they felt about everything, who they were in their lives, kind of the growth that they'd had, and just the way that these characters had ultimately changed post-breakup, and not necessarily just because of the breakup, but because of everything in life and kind of how we change and how we figure out things about ourselves and how we can become more confident and how things can change and our experiences can change and kind of what we want to put out in the world can change and I think that that was done really really well in the pairing and I really did feel like I was also learning about even though we we, we barely see them before they broke up I also felt like I was learning about these characters as things were happening and that was really nice like it felt like I had this idea of them and then I got to see this this new idea of them um and I really liked how different the different perspectives were done I'm not gonna go into it because I don't want to spoil it but I think that was done really really well like I love that we kind of reached this point and then we got these this other perspective and I mean it left me on a little bit of a cliffhanger but it was it was done so so well and I feel like the way Casey has written this novel kind of flowed so beautifully and it's again it's um it's a little bit different because we're not used to seeing uh, you know Casey's books be written in two different perspectives and two set perspectives so it was really nice to have that and to kind of see how it, both characters thought and kind of their experiences and their viewpoints rather than just kind of trying to gauge off the other one which I thought was really nice so I was essentially pacing my kitchen when I was finishing this book so when I was coming to the end of this book I was pacing my floor but like placing up and down whilst I was cooking because I had my Kindle in my hand watching my food but I'm going up and down because I'm getting to near the end of this book and I am on edge you know if you are exes with someone obviously I'm not going to say what happens but I feel like you kind of you have to look at yourself now if there's any type of conversation about like getting back together you kind of have to look at yourself now and put yourself in that situation and I feel like the way Casey did that was very very realistic because there's a lot you know years can change you like you can, I can't remember if it's three years or four years, I think it's four years, four years is a long time in the life of someone, especially someone in their 20s, those four years can change everything and I liked that we got to see that and I like that we got to see those conversations and those realistic conversations and that's what I really really love about Casey's writing is that they are not afraid to show the messy side of things, there are raw feelings, there are messy feelings, there are honest feelings and actual proper conversations and realistic conversations that kind of comes down to like what actually needs to be spoken about and I really liked that like I thought that was done really really well in the pairing I think Casey does that really well in in all of their books to be honest but the pairing it, it was done very very well and I, w I was less satisfied with the ending it was I feel like it was true to the characters I feel like we got a good understanding of why the characters made that decision closure um, in lots of different ways and I really liked that there's so much like miscommunication as well that just like infuriates me do you know when you want to like bang two people's heads together and just tell them to sort out the whole situation that is how I felt with Kit and Theo I just was like oh my god can you just talk I really really loved the way that the gender identity of Theo was expressed I think that was done so well it's something I very much can relate to um so that's really important to me all of our experiences are very different but Theo's was very relatable um I felt like the way that Theo's was was spoken about I personally really related to and I just loved the way like I was reading and like oh my god this is me like I literally remember texting my friend like me this is me this is exactly what it feels like for me and it was really nice to see that represented represented and to be able for that to be such a kind of like honest and to see those that really like raw side of Theo's feelings and kind of talking about it and it, expressing that and being like hey look like this is what it feels like and this is how it is I think it was it was 
done so well and the way it was added was so good as well it felt like such a natural progression of the novel and this character and the conversation felt so seamless and just was was added really well so i really really liked that the only thing i will say is like the ending felt like it was it felt like a little bit it was quite fast i felt like i think we had this build up and then the ending did feel a little bit faster compared to the rest of the book so i do sort of maybe feel like part of the ending could have been stretched a little bit more yeah i felt like there was this like massive chunk of build up and then this really really kind of whilst well done shorter conclusion other than that i absolutely loved the pairing i thought it was funny i casey's writing is just so phenomenal like i aspire to be able to write like that like the way that they can turn a phrase the words that they use the way that they describe things the language that they use it's just so phenomenal and beautiful and so beautiful as well as being so funny and comical and the humor is so good and i just i just love the way that casey writes they are so good at being able to kind of construct a story and like i said the kind of seeing the progress on instagram and then the final result was so cool because you got to see kind of how casey viewed their novel as well which was really cool and kind of helped me you know when i'm reading it and i'm seeing the comical bits and i'm seeing these things that are inspiration and i'm thinking about these characters and i do like it stayed with me so long after as well like i am thinking i think about kit and theo multiple times a week and also i just really love the way that casey and casey does this in all of their novels um and it was the same in the pairing where like the secondary characters are also like stay with you and they're just as important they don't feel like they're just there just to be a secondary character because there needs to be they feel like they do actually like serve some purpose and they fit seamlessly within the story and fits kind of really perfectly alongside our main characters in this case kit and theo and i feel like that was done really well and i loved the addition of these characters in the pairing they really kind of bolt up the novel and really added to it and I just thought they were so special and kind of I just I finished it at like midnight and I there's a picture of me like crying that I sent to my friend because I just thought it was so beautiful and I just loved I just loved it I loved every minute of reading it I loved my whole experience with it it was so good um, and it was so well written and I just feel like as Casey releases more and more books you can really see that um, their writing is just like, I mean, Red Rock Moon Blue is like my favourite book, but like their writing just keeps getting better. And that's a big thing to say because it was like phenomenal in Red Rock Moon Blue with beautiful phrases. So I think you can, you can really see kind of that growth and also that confidence as a writer in the pairing. And I really, really, really liked that. It was just, it was so fun. I enjoyed every minute of reading it. I loved the way I just I loved it I just think it was it was done so well um and I'm so grateful I got to read it because like I said it was my it's my most anticipated book of this year and I'm still excited for August I'm so excited to get my editions of the pairing I cannot wait I don't know how many I've ordered but it's a lot it was nice as well to have an, an adult novel after I Kiss Shara Wheeler um I loved I Kiss Shara Wheeler but I definitely think adult novels are Casey's like strongest point things don't have to kind of be like filtered and i like it when it's so unfiltered because i think those are the best stories that casey tells i loved the pairing i was so grateful to receive it um it was, oh, it was so phenomenal and i absolutely adored it um, and i can't wait for its official release so that everyone can read it and that i can go into more detail in a more in-depth review have you read the pairing have you been lucky enough to get an arc of it i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments if not are you excited let me know let me know your current favorite casey mcquiston book let's talk all things casey mcquiston in the comments favorite author obsessed thank you guys for watching if you guys are new here i make videos a couple times a week about books and pop culture so if you want to stick around and join us feel free to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell and as usual all the links to my other social medias and my bookish podcast will be in the description as well if you come and follow my podcast it really does help me out so Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing really, 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 really well. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.